What's up guys? Back with another video here, just a quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize the price level and trend line tools within Thinkorswim. Pretty simple stuff here, but I have been getting a lot of questions on the difference of the two within the Thinkorswim platform. So just a super quick video here. Enjoy, as always, please like and subscribe if you got any value from this video. Thank you. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over a quick tutorial. I wanted to talk about setting up price level and trend lines, what the difference in Thinkorswim is for those two, um, as well as setting up hotkeys within Thinkorswim. Now, hotkeys are super useful, especially if you do a lot of technical analysis and you don't wanna constantly be going up here to drawings and selecting individual drawings. You can actually set up hotkeys right in your platform. It makes it much easier and much quicker, uh, which as you know, in trading is absolutely essential to have that speed and ability to draw your lines and move quickly. So first things first here, to set up our hotkeys, we're gonna wanna click on this cogwheel up here in the upper right. It's gonna bring up chart settings. Now if you come down to my tools down here in the bottom right, you're just gonna select on each chart, hit apply, and then hit okay. It's as simple as that to set up these hotkeys here. You'll see I have my preferred hotkeys right here. A couple of um, strategies that I utilize are all hotkeyed in there, as well as trend line, Fibonacci retracements, and one other one I wanted to go ahead and add to edit this, we go over to the far right of the bar, click the cog, go to add button, and I'm actually going to add, uh, not a study, but a drawing tool of price level. So now that I press done, it's as simple as that to set up your hotkeys. All you do then to activate them is literally just click on it, and you will have, you can see, I'm using price level here. If you wanna use trend line, just click trend line. You can see I've got trend line there. So one cool thing, last thing I want to touch on in this quick tutorial is the difference between price level and trend line. Price level is going to actually stay perfectly horizontal for you and set up nearly perfect, perfect support and resistance lines. It is extremely useful, um, especially if you, when you're using a trend line, like what, before I discovered price level, I would use trend line, and I'd literally try and get the trend line like this to be like perfectly straight. You can see how the little pop-up box kind of shows you your angle, and I literally sit there and try and get it just like perfectly, perfectly straight. I don't know, maybe that's OCD or what but then I discovered this price level. And you can literally just put this anywhere you want. So that's pretty much it. Just a quick tutorial for you guys here. I had a couple of clients ask me about this stuff, so I figured I'd just make a video on it. If you guys got any value out of this, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much, and we will see you in the next one.